and welcome to Week Runner. We're up to grand final time for Division 5 and I'm with Stephen Toasty Clay. How are you Stephen? Good, thank you Dustin. Legend of the Port District Football Club. And how did you go this year? Any finals or...? Yeah, we uh, all four grades made the finals. Oh, yeah. uh, there was a couple of junior girls teams that won their grand finals. Um, so yeah, the A's got bundled out by Paynham last week. Uh, both B's and C's got bundled out to... Uh, Henley and Goodwood, respectively, and the A-10s, I think, lost to Goodwood as well. Yeah, that's so, it. But, uh, yeah. No, well done. And uh, look, Division 5 time, there were no surprises here, but I think when um, a team of this division wins by close to 80 points, you think they must have been um, the fair side all year, which yeah. they were. So it was yeah. Seabock taking on Woody South. Um, it was uh, Seabock, 20 goals, 16, 126, defeated Woody South, gave it their all, 8, 8, 56. So, yeah. well, well done to Seabock to win by that margin. They have been the best team all year. Yeah. Um, and uh, take nothing away from Woody South, they gave it the best, but hey, they're up to Division 4 next year, which is great because I've them. They went up the ladder, hit Division 1 quite a few years ago, about yep. six years ago. They went straight back down again, but now they're, they're hitting Division 4 and hopefully they can, they can build from that. Yeah, I think they must have, uh, they spent a lot of petrol tickets the week before, you know, yeah, just getting it. over the line. Um, I'll go on to the CBC, uh, the goal kickers, there was 11 of them, so uh, <laughs> they, they had uh, quite, a, quite a day out. So, uh, Jay Greenbank with the four, uh, M Raymond with three, and ha C Harris with three, S Raymond, Jay Hegarty, uh, both with the twos, uh, and the singles went to D Alpin, L Harrison, R Woods, M D'Angelo, J Builder, and M Bynes. Uh, best players there were Woods, Greenback couldn't even get in, always he did, he got in. Uh, R Woods, yeah. uh, M Raymond, M Pardifin, J Shah, J Greenbank with the four, and uh, J Owens in uh, the last best player there. Yeah, we have been saying that about the, the goal scorers not getting the best players, you think, just give them a, I'll say a chicken voucher or whatever yeah. it was, but it says some sort of voucher, like a <laughs> beer voucher or something, for score four goals or five goals, give them something yeah. for surely. But, uh, Reese Woods, best on ground. I mean, he was a, a next Eagles player. Obviously, what you know, playing Division Five footy, but um, playing with his mates, got himself a grand final. Saying well done for him. So, uh, but a lot of um, a lot of, a lot of experience in amongst the Seabock, and they've done very well to, to consolidate those players and uh, and win a grand final. So, um, look, not much. Obviously, chop for you South. But they did make the grand final. Well done. We've got the summer with a bag of five in the grand final. Well done with Hanson with three. So just the two goal scores with the eight goals. And the best players were Sumner, Haynes, Percy, Ahmed, and Matthews. So, no surprise there, but see what well done. Great year they've had. I think that should consolidate the club as well. They've got the good, um, obviously, on the park lanes there, and they, they use a bit of Thebby Oval sometimes, obviously, when they have the. Um, the, the car races there in yep. March, so... Um, they uh, they come from... They've been in Div 3 before, I think, uh, yeah, a few yeah, years, years ago, ago so they hopefully for them yep. they'll make the climb back up. And as you said before, Woody South, um, when I first started playing seniors, played against them in the old Div 1 reserves, so um, could be be good to see both those clubs uh, do well again. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But um, no, that's all for Division 5. Well done to both sides, and uh, we'll see you next year.